I just finished my uh, red hyperblade. Uh, it's got a version two uh, blade, the heavy dueling version. Uh, although I wouldn't duel with it, um, I haven't, and uh, I'm afraid to, you know, snap any LEDs, so I wouldn't duel with it. Uh, it's got the uh, custom saber shop uh, blade holder right here for the Anakin hilt, and um, I use this uh, red thumb screw right here to secure the blade from. Uh, sliding at all and got some uh, little specialty screws I found and I uh, kind of looked quite hard for certain ones that matched uh, perfectly and you know didn't fool anything with the universe and stuff like that the um, you know by using Phillips head or anything so I got some nice star screws there uh, and I've got this hex nut um, type of theme going where I kept it around the button here and it's just got the chrome button to kind of match the uh, simplicity of the hilt I removed uh, the banding that went around the Anakin um, it's kind of hard to get off but uh, I think it was definitely worth it the way the saber kind of shines now uh, the hilt rubber pieces aren't just the uh, stick-on variety they actually go all the way through on the Anakin uh, which is really nice not to have to worry about them shifting or coming off at all and uh, for the pommel I got a custom saber shop uh, piece didn't have the uh, vents I had to um, get a piece for the vents and I used one of the cover tech um, wheels the I think it's aluminum uh, for the nice metal look all throughout and like I said it's a red hyperblade as a Saber SD card with uh, one of the fonts that you can get from the hyperblade CD if you only knew the power of the dark side of course for the red one you gotta have the Vader One other thing I want to say about this uh, particular hyperblade, um, since it does have the heavy dueling uh, blade, you normally get this um, little bit of maybe a shadow one third of the way up and then two thirds of the way up where the blade is in different parts. Um, with this one, you know, I wasn't satisfied the first time I wrapped the blade um, in in the foam and you know had secured it uh, with the you know where the wires are for the blade and I had to go back and do it a second time and the second time I wasn't thrilled uh, with the two shadows that were appearing along the blade uh, although you know you'll you would never uh, be able to pick it up from a couple feet away or on camera of course um, so I took it apart a third time and I wrapped it again and using like the last bit of foam I had I, I had just enough to wrap it a third time and uh, I was much more satisfied with the way it came out and um, actually the solution for me was to use these like uh, they were like basically microscopic uh, zip ties that were really strong but super tiny they used like little tweezer pliers basically to, uh, to stretch them out but the effect is um, much much better uh, especially after doing it like three times I realized how great it was the third time where on um, one or you know a couple sides when you rotate really the blade uh, you can kind of tell the shadow and then at other times when you put the blade you can't and I practically blinded myself uh, staring at the LEDs for a while trying to you know trying to decide what to, what, what was best but I think the overall effect is a pretty pretty even blade um, from from most angles and nearly comparable to the uh, light dueling hyperblades which basically have uh, no noticeable shadow at all. The speaker is really loud. It's actually adjustable too on the hyperblade. It's got the it's got the 11.1 uh, battery pack. Um, and that's about it. 
I'll show you guys uh, a little bit of movement so you can hear the sound. And uh, by the way, I call this one uh, Devastator because it's just a total beast. Even with the lights on, even with the lights on, it looks pretty real. And uh, I want to show you guys with the lights off. That's off a lot of light. Um, maybe you could check it out when the uh, when the flash goes off when the uh, you know, for the for the clash and uh, see how bright that is. It's supposed to be about two times brighter.